your hub for accurate, timely, actionable information. Seasoned investor or novice, we've got you covered. Welcome to Fund Code. So, what's been happening with IRFC lately? Over the past few months, the Indian Railway Finance Corporation, more commonly known as IRFC, has been demonstrating quite a stable financial performance. In fact, their third quarter results for 2024 showed consistent profitability with a steady revenue stream. Yet, the stock market paints a slightly different picture. Despite this seemingly robust financial health, the IRFC's stock price has experienced a dip. A decrease of 1.78% was observed, taking the stock from 173 rupees and 94 pays to a lower 170 rupees and 85 pays. This fall in stock price, in contrast to the company's stable revenue and profitability, raises some questions. What factors are influencing this decline? And what does this mean for the future of IRFC? Despite a seemingly strong financial performance, the stock price has experienced a dip. One of the key reasons behind the stock price fall is the potential government stake sale. The Indian government, which holds a considerable 86.36% stake in the Indian Railway Finance Corporation, is contemplating a strategic move. It's considering offloading a portion of its stake in the public sector undertaking through an offer for sale or OFS in the ongoing financial year. This proposal has caused quite a stir in the market. The news of this potential stake sale has not been well received by investors. In fact, it led to a drop in the shares of the Indian Railway Finance Corporation. The mere possibility of such a sale has injected a dose of uncertainty into the market adversely affecting investor confidence. Naturally, this lack of confidence has had a direct impact on the stock price, contributing to its recent fall. The potential stake sale has certainly affected investor confidence and contributed to the stock price fall. Another contributing factor to the fall in the stock price is the recent budget 2024. With anticipation running high, investors were left somewhat disappointed as the budget failed to announce any major initiatives for the railway sector. This sector, which includes the Indian Railway Finance Corporation, is critical to the country's infrastructure and economic development. But this year, the government's focus seemed to have shifted elsewhere. As a result, we saw a wave of profit booking, which is when investors sell their stocks to cash in on the gains. This led to a dip in the prices of railway public sector undertakings, or PSUs, including the IRFC. In the absence of any substantial budgetary boosts, and with profit booking in full swing, the railway stocks took a hit. The absence of major budgetary boosts for the railway sector has led to a drop in stock price. Geopolitical tensions have also played a role in the stock price fall. One of the factors that can't be overlooked is the recent attacks on Israel by the Iran-backed militant group Hamas. These events have raised concerns about the ambitious India-Middle East Europe Economic Corridor or IMEC project. The IMEC is a significant cross-border ship-to-rail transit network the instability in the region creates uncertainty around the viability and timeline of this project. Now, why does this matter to the Indian Railway Finance Corporation? Well, the railway sector is a key player in this corridor. Any disruption or delay in the project could impact the sector's growth prospects and, by extension, the performance of companies like IRFC. As a result, the stocks linked to the railway sector, including IRFC, experienced a drop. The geopolitical instability has added an element of uncertainty, leading to a drop in the stock price. Now, to sum up the reasons behind the recent fall in the stock price of IRFC. The first reason we discussed was the potential government stake sale. The government is mulling over the proposal to offload a part of its stake in IRFC, which led to a drop in the shares. The second reason was the lack of major announcements for the railway sector in the budget 2024 leading to profit booking and a subsequent fall in the stock prices of railway PSUs, including IRFC. Lastly, the geopolitical tensions, particularly the attacks on Israel by Iran-backed militant group Hamas, raised fears about the ambitious India-Middle East Europe Economic Corridor project. This uncertainty led to a drop in railways-linked stocks, including IRFC. These are the key factors that have influenced the recent fall in the IRFC stock price. Remember, the stock market is unpredictable and always do your own research before making any investment decisions. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates. Before you go though, we've got some fantastic recommendations for you. If you're into stock market news and updates, you're going to love these picks.